In the lands of Europe, historical dynamics have unfolded throughout time, dominated in equal intensity by periods of understanding and exchange, and on other occasions by military conflicts. Due to its historical background, Spain played an essential role for centuries in these processes of which the state archives are outstanding witnesses in the secular project of European construction. The first in recorded time to acquire its own identity was the Crown of Aragon Archive, which was created in 1318 by order of King James II in the Royal Palace of Barcelona with the objective of gathering all the deeds of the Crown and most especially the records of its Chancellery. Therefore, it may be considered the most complete archive of a medieval monarchy, an unlimited source for the study of the history of Europe. As a result, it was recognised in 2007 with the award of the European Heritage Label. The archive of the Royal Chancellery of Valladolid is of a different origin. It is closely linked to the creation and establishment of a Supreme Court of Instance and Judicial Body in the Kingdom of Castile. Created by the Catholic monarchs, its civil and criminal attributions were completed with the special halls of recognition of the Hijo Stalgo and the Sala de Vizcaya. The General Archive of Simancas, created by Charles V in 1540, was designed by Philip II since 1561, both in its building and its contents. It is one of the first buildings in the world to be transformed as an archive and as an efficient administrative and governmental instrument of the Hispanic monarchy. Some writers consider it to be the most extensive and complete universal archive for the global analysis in terms of space and time of the construction process of the reality of Europe from the 16th to the 19th century. In 2017, it was added as an instrument of power and administration to the memory of the World Register. The General Archive of the Indies was created in 1785 to preserve the documentation produced by the administration and government institutions of the overseas territories of Spain, both in America and in the Pacific, in order to defend it from the black legend. It is centred in the city of Seville, and its documentary collections, 15th to 19th centuries, are vital heritage for the history of several continents. Since 1987, it has been included in the list of World Heritage Sites. The General Archives of the Administration is the bulkiest archive of the State Archive, currently storing almost 170 kilometres due to its nature and the most vivid and complete testimony regarding changes of the different political systems, administrative structures and governed policies of the two previous centuries both with regard to Spain and its colonial territories in Africa and its relations with the other countries and territories of the European and worldwide area. It is heir of a previous archive created in 1858 which disappeared after the Civil War. Closely related to the previous one, there is the National Historical Archive as the last receptor of the selected documentation with historical value, it stands as the main system archive of the general administration of the state. It was created in Madrid in 1866 by the necessity to guard the nationalised documents of every religious community affected by disinstallment processes and some administrative bodies of the ancient regime. The historical archive of the nobility is a unique archive in the professional field. Its mission is to keep and make accessible the archives collected by the nobility related to the management of subrogated assets in their favour by successive monarchs and those produced by the Family Assets Administration. Since 1989, it is located in a wonderful Renaissance building created by Alonso de Carubias in Toledo. Its funds cover from the Middle Ages to nowadays. Within this title overview, we find a documentary centre of historical memory. The centre was born from the transformation of various institutions of the Francoism repressive system to fight Republican organisations that, after the recovery of democratic liberties, were managed by the cultural administration 
as General Archive of the Spanish Civil War. In 2007, it turned into the actual documentation centre, located in Salamanca, to guard and share a wide and diverse group of documents about the Spanish Civil War and its consequences, as well as the democracy transition. Its documents constitute a wide activity manifestation of the Freemasonry, political parties, syndicates and individuals related to the Republic. The sources regarding the repression during the dictatorship remain today an essential tool for the moral and economic reparation of the victims. The last of the state archives is the Historical Archive of Social Movements, created the 11th of October of 2021. Its function is to keep, treat in any archival way and share the sources of interest for the study of the movements, organisations or Spanish social groups that appeared from the 19th century onwards. The Spanish Presidency of the European Union in 2023 provides the perfect opportunity to present this rich common cultural heritage that we want to share with all of you.